Yo, what's up? It's way too many. And uh, kind of ignore the setup here. It's kind of like, you know, in early stages, but we're getting there. Um, as you guys know, recently McFron Toys released his newest uh, modern, you know, just basic classic looking spawn, which is the deluxe uh, spawn set that comes with the throne and the spawn figure and a little bit of a uh, cape. Um, I should say cape, but like two syllables to make this work properly, but fuck it. Um, but basically, the figure came with the cape that was half-assed. It was just the top portion, so when you put him in the chair, it looks good, and it worked fairly well. Could have been done a little bit better, but it, whatever it is. Um, the throne itself is actually pretty cool, but it's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about is this, which is my modified um, spawn from the set. Now, one thing you'll notice straight away, the cape is a little bit bigger than the way it used to be out of the box. So I'll move the throne out a little bit out of the way so I can show you guys what's going on here. So here he is, pretty cool looking figure, and basically what I did is I'll just show you. So uh, when you get out of the box, um, this is not what you get out of the box. This is my custom modified. I'll show more stuff in depth when I take the cape off. You'll see. Um, but there's that, and here is the back. Those you're curious, it's a little bit tacky here and there, but it's on the back, you're not going to notice it. This side's pretty well, but this side's a little, eh. I wish I could fix it up, but eh, whatever. So, you know, the guy spawned the man himself. If you don't want him in the throne, he looked kind of half-assed. The throne, the cape was like cut in half, basically, and all he had was the top portion. Uh, this modified version gives it a full version. The good, great length looks awesome sitting next to, or just standing next to the throne. Looks absolutely dope. But if you want to put him in the throne, you don't want to have the cape having it be a hassle to get in the throne or whatever. You just do this. You literally just do this. Hold up. It was working earlier. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. It just slides right out. It holds in with friction from the peg being in the back of the actual real cape that came with the figure. And this is just an amalgamation of a couple of uh, MK11 spawn capes. Um, left and right and one in the middle to get the full great length like there and here he is and this is what you get out of the box this is what you would have if you didn't want him in the throne this weird half fast i mean it looks cool i like the top part but there's nothing on the bottom like nothing it's just this which is really half fast for uh 40 or well, technically 50 bucks for the retail price which is ridiculous but yeah there he is really cool figure and i'll show you the mods i did on this guy the main figure itself taking the actual cape off, that's ridiculous. Um, the neck uh, before basically couldn't look up at all. It was only side to side and a little bit down and slight tilting. Now he can look all the way up, which you know, a little gap in the front, but he can basically do a whole fucking squirrel and look up and freak out and shit. Um, before the crunch was, it was there, but a little minimal. Now he's going all the way forward. He can do full on Greg Capullo, McFarlane, uh, Jack Kirby poses, poses if he wants to. Uh, back is the same as it was before, and then side to side is the same as it was before. Um, the chains, I didn't do anything to them, but in the crotch section, I'll try to make it so you can see what's going on here. I uh, shaded out some room up on the crotch, the diaper section, because a little bit too lower down, so you couldn't the legs forward at all. Now, they go all the way forward, as you can see there. And as you saw earlier, or what you just saw, Thigh swivels now, which is a much needed addition, not only for him to get in the chair and just to stand up and look cool in poses as a whole. Uh, really much needed addition, and I wish he had that in the, in the figure, you know, at the factory, but I guess not. We don't have that. And that's really it, all I did to the guy. So yeah, really, really good figure. Um, just, I can't believe they decided to not, not, not give him a full cape. It's spawn. He needs a whole cape. Like, what the, f uh, I don't know. But yeah, that's that, and showing you how to install it, which is really simple. Basically, all you, ignore my dogs, all you do is you take the top portion of the official cape, you put this up on the guy like so, your main man, uh, Al Simmons, whoever this wants to be, um, you want to make sure that you have it in the hole, like so, but don't push it in all the way just yet. You want to have it in there like, like that, simply like that. Have him right there chilling. We're going to take our new and improved cape. Go ahead and take this bitch and slide it up in there. And there's grooves. Uh, well, the way it aligns is to match the back of the official one. So it slides right up in there and it's a nice tight fit. Doing this on my first try, no take backs right here. Line it all up and you can just kind of Snug it up in there like so go from here and then start pushing in like so Get it all lined up like that and then just simply push it in Nice tight click. Well not click, you know a tight connection and that is not falling out You know you push it in tight as you want it is not gonna fall out for hell and back uh, Maybe if you do this 
Uh, hey, hey, I guess not. See, that's just how gooey rolling this bitch. But yeah, there it is, looking really good. And if you want to get him in the throne, you want to have him nice posed up the way he is out in the box, meant to be, you just very simply, that's all you do. That is literally all you do when you get this guy in his throne. You do the whole fucking uh, Shakespeare, hold the skull in his right hand or left hand. I don't care which one, which hand you want. Look him, look him, make it look all cool. But again, this is what they gave us out of the box, and that just looks kind of half-assed. It's still cool with the little cape at the side, but it could have been a lot been better, been better huh, done better. Um, and this is just not going to work on the, on the throne. But yeah, really cool little mod. I hope you guys are inspired to do more stuff like this with your figures. And uh, adios, have a good one, peace out, and uh, goodbye.